AI is a broad horizontal technology. The same core technology can be used across different domains, perhaps only by changing the data that we're training models on or the specific use cases. A model built for medicine has a lot in common with a model built for climate science or one built for smart cities. For this reason, AI has the possibility to touch many aspects of our lives. An important part of teaching AI then is not just about how to build it successfully, but also how to develop students' critical thinking and have them consider responsible research and innovation. There are many facets to this question of responsible innovation. One area that's getting a lot of attention is that of the data that's being used to train AI models. There's questions of data privacy and security, especially when it comes to handling sensitive and personal information. But another factor is also thinking carefully about the source of the data we're using for AI and whether it's appropriate to be using for training our AI models. A second area for students to consider is how they understand the capabilities and limitations of AI models. No model is 100% accurate and they all make mistakes in different ways. Language models, for example, make factual mistakes in their responses, known as hallucinations. Models that generate images often create some slightly bizarre pictures of people, for example, with strange artifacts like six fingers or three legs. And these might be funny to look at, but this behavior can be more serious if, for example, you're using these models in the context of medical imaging or diagnosis. Further, models that are trained on data that's been created and collected by us people, and so they learn any bias that's reflected in that data. There's a number of stories of AI models generating biased images or text. One example from a recent study showed that language models were more likely to associate emotions like sad with women and angry with men, even in scenarios where men and women didn't report feeling these emotions. Figuring out how to properly evaluate your AI models along a variety of axes to know what you're doing is a key skill for any student. It can be easy to hand over decision-making power to an AI model, but in reality, it's important to remember who has accountability, what the risks are, and whether human oversight is needed. Those risks include the possibility of malicious uses. For students who are still learning, it can be hard to imagine a scenario where your work is taken and used for a purpose you never intended. But even so, it's important to consider this possibility. Finally, thinking about regulation that students should be aware of, Governments around the world are actively looking at how best to regulate AI technology as it becomes widespread. The first law that's recently been passed is the EU's AI Act. It splits applications of AI into different risk categories. Some applications are outright banned. Some high-risk applications have obligations around transparency and documentation, while low-risk applications have fewer obligations. There's a lot of scope when teaching AI to get students thinking critically about issues with AI even if they might not seem immediately of concern, so that they can take the learnings with them as they move into building real-world AI, and so will be better equipped to build technology that will benefit rather than harm society. Mm -hmm.